Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Heavy Rain. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright, alright. You know what's the deal. I'm ready to do my revenge. You're trying to kill me and my friend? Just because you don't want me to expose your son for how much of a psycho he is? Well, guess what, bitch? I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Hell yeah! Let's go! Woo! This is some big Scorpio energy right here. Like, I am hella excited right now. All right, so what's the plan, big boy? Thank you, that is what I needed. Let's go. Nope. Anyways, you two? Well, I'm gratta dying everyone in this bitch. Let's go. No, no, you good, come on. There you go, there you go. Nope, oh shit. Yo, you good? You got shot? Nope. Shit. Don't get killed, please. I need you. I need you. Okay, good. So far, so good. Damn, he got shot in the stomach. Bro! What the hell's going on? Damn, it wasn't successful. Okay, so why is she in the hospital? What's your plan, reporter? This looks like the hospitals from my city. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Okay, I'll sign in. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. Damn! With Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her. You okay. Know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Wow, okay. So I can just walk in freely and see anyone. Good to know. Okay, room 19, so... Yep, it's all the way down there. This hospital is so clean, and it doesn't even have a lot of people walking around either. I found it! The dramatic music. Bro, I just opened the door. What's so dramatic about that? Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? Mm. No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... So you remember your pills, but not anything else? My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. What do you expect? It's hospital food. Shit. Madison, you sure, you, you sure it's a good idea, bro? Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Okay... I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square... I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. Clearly, from we flashback. We with very little. Okay... You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. 
Why are you avoiding the question, sweetheart? Come on. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. First of all, you just acknowledged the fact that you had a John, and now you're saying that you don't have any other kid? Are you trying I to... Think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me. Can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Unless if the mom is a fucking horrible person, sure, I guess. Like. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Why are you avoiding the question, ma'am? Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Come on, woman. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? You're avoiding the question. It's obvious. You don't have Alzheimer's. You just want to act like you do. Oh, what's this? <gasps> really? There's an origami book here, bro. And paper. Hey, yo. Something suspicious is going... Oh, <gasps> the dog. Yes, I remember the dog. The frog, the dog. Anywho. So, what, you taught your kid how to do origami, bro? Because clearly he is pretty good at origami. Since he leaves his victims a present. Shit. Let me do it again. I got this. I just hate the placements of these commands, like... Okay. Damn. Okay. Oh my god. The controls on this is a little awkward for me to manage, but whatever. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. I thought you said you didn't have John any kids. The little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max? 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 All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Honey? I know you know something. Say it! More origami figures. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Seemed to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Flowers? Let me see, what's this? Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. So they're... Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Yeah, I saw on the flashback, he was very abusive. Pretty much a jerk. Nothing in here. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Mrs. Shepard. I'm gonna leave and get you those flowers. And when I come back, you better say a whole bunch of stuff. Because I need them details. ASAP. Just one? Okay, bet. I guess. I would have taken the whole thing, but fuck it. 
That nurse has no clue what's going on. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. What the hell? That doesn't... Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. First of all, as a nurse, you shouldn't be indulging in that much details out in public for anyone to hear, but... Go off, I guess. Alright, bitch, I got you your flower! So hopefully this would spark a memory. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Hmm. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? Who? The foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. So you feel guilty? Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. Yeah, you feel guilty. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. But bro, all you had to do was call and say, Hey, I'm sick, I can't come visit his you. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? What's his name, bitch? Come closer. Oh, Lord. Are we about to kiss right now? I hope not. What is it? She shook. Yo, based off her face, she shook. I wonder who it is. Madison, who is it? Yo, the old lady shook, Madison shook. Who is it? Damn. Yo, this is some weird ass the cell type of vibes. Oh my god, I better not get killed. I love the little perspective thing going on where even though I'm walking towards it, it's still far away. I like that creepy effect, so that's pretty interesting. But otherwise, oh my god, this is going to be some crazy saw shit over again. Uh, come on, let's go. Come on. Might as well, like, what else can I lose besides a finger, my sanity, and my will to live? The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life? your son. There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. Of if course. You, it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. Wow. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Well, you know what? I don't give a fuck about my life anymore, so... Cheers, mate. Take a shot. Fuck it, am I right? Mm. Mm. 
damn, what the hell? Alright, bitch! Where's the location? W give me the location! Cause this man's been through a lot! Scraped his knee, lost his pinky... Like, he is determined to save his son! Cause he doesn't care anymore, he just wants his son back! Eight five two. Oh fuck. All right, so let's go. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Holy shit, he found the address. Right? Is that it? Alright, it looks safe, so let's bounce. Hurry up. I know where and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address! Come on! There's gotta be a way to do this! You need to smoke some CBD, calm the fuck down, and then reinvigorate the clues. Let's start. What's the address again? Okay, that's the kid. Now what? Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh Damn. This is gonna be hard. Fuck it. Why not just choose the um, the first one and go from there? That's what I would I do. I only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. Let's go. Is that a yes or a no on the correct location? Goddamn restaurant! I got the wrong address! I screwed up! Shit. Everything. Christ! I'm so sorry, Sean! So sorry. Damn. Damn, Ethan, I am so sorry, bro. Okay, so a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles. Bro, calm down, clear your head, look through the clues again, okay? All packed up and ready to go. Fucking asshole, bro. Let me. What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Honey, I ain't going anywhere. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! That's it? I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. You pinned it on the first person. Get back, Norman. Okay, bet. 
Listen. Go through the clues again, bro. Calm down. Calm down. Go through the clue. Oh my god. So this time we get up. Oh my god, you stay sniffing! Can't stand him, bro. You stay sniffing. Alright, you know what? Prove that cop wrong. Name is here. Exactly. I just have to find it. Find exactly. It it's too late. Yep. Let's go. Oh, one last thing, sir. Careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Even though He'll he just end up sniffed it. You if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Alright, so let's look at the clues, bro. analyze this bitch. Okay. What's the next one? Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. So analyze that bitch. Is there anything? Okay, his mask his mask was was on his face. Yo, the way he was trying to kill me with the katana, bro. That shit is crazy as hell. The sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Okay. Maybe this video would help me a lot. Come on, come on. Anything? Nothing. No, 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 no. Come on. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Larry's promotion present. <gasps> Is that the same one? So he does work in here. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Oh, he is shook as hell. So... Wow, so he was battling a cop, and a cop is an origami killer. Holy shit, this is insane. Let's go to the next one. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Isn't that a typical? It in a police case five years ago. The oh shit! Sure. Still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Huh. Interesting. What's next? Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Is analyze. Ah, oh, that doesn't get us anywhere. Listen, based off of what I know so far, John Shepard's dead, so it's the brother. The brother who's masking... Could be masking as John Shepard, I'm not sure. So obviously it's a cop that's doing this, but... Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Mm. 
Why not? Hmm. Let's go look at the files at this point. Because if a cop is doing this, then... So many places where he dumped the body too. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Big location to fill in, but Alright, so let me look at the profile again. Bro, you're bleeding from your eye! I just realized that! He's intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. I... I can't go on. Go on sniffing that? Yeah, you can't. I can't go on. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.